I think U Professor Nube is still connecting. Uh, so Deputy Spokes, you can go ahead and do us the honor uh, and give us an update of what's happening on the campaign trail and then maybe uh, introduce Professor Nube to us. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, can you confirm you can hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, greetings, everyone. Shalom, uh, Lunke. Go Twitter space here to Namtanje. Um, I want to thank everyone uh, who has attended uh, this space. Mishonipe, um, our uh, deputy president, uh, Professor Washman Nube, our honourable member of parliament. Um, uh, greet you all. Um, um, I've just Mkulu Professor eh, is cutting a saying Nyaboma. Uh, uh, Professor Nwobe, can you hear us? I'm not sure. Uh, guys, can you hear Prof? Or it's just me? No, we can't hear him. <clears throat> okay, sorry guys, we're having technical glitches. Uh, I'm sure it's something that will be addressed in in the meantime. Uh, please, uh, we're here because we're fundraising to make sure um, at Tebele Land. Uh, He's now back. He's okay. now here. Yeah, I still can't hear you, Prof. Can others hear, Prof? Uh, prof, is, is it Well, I, I don't know uh, whether now you can hear me. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, Prof. Good evening. Well, if if, if you can hear me... um. Let me uh, thank um, the host for the invitation to uh, join you this evening in this uh, fundraiser for uh, our rural candidates uh, in the southern uh, provinces. Um, thank you very much for, for the invitation. Uh, let me uh, thank all the uh, leadership of uh, Tripoli who are with us uh, this evening, including uh, our deputy spokesperson, Seabola, Mrs. Baoguti, Lawe, Ubuile, Kuspes, Leila, Sanje, Lani Longe, Inko Kelly, Zongezi, La Palam Sanje, Ni Towe Sibili, Born a civil servants, Omushe, when Ziwa is in Bila Macha, Giti, and Twagazi, or PK, Oskosana, and then one lot of you, Seabo, Inkosibusi, Silly Childish, Ombe for Msebe, Omushe, Edwin Zayo, 
uh, when uh, in Bali history of the struct as Zimbabwe is uh, is written, uh, it should record um, in capital letters the staying work that uh, you have been doing, which uh, UPK summarized uh, earlier on in terms of the of the fundraising. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, words are never enough um, for appreciating the work that you do. And of course, Nyabo um, Nafuti, everyone who Onke, he says, Lana says, Zimbabwe is Onke. We have been contributing over the years, over the months, and we have been contributing for, for this uh, election. To contribute Thank you very much. We we know uh, how generous we have been. We we appreciate it as uh, the the leadership corner uh, at this. Um, ni telwe uguti ni kulume ngoguti e indaba uketo lwa lonyaka ngo 2023 e uketo lwa august in 5 weeks time lulu luketo olu kaga tegileo e watershed election e kulumen dalo e in general ne history uketo ezwenile tre e zimbabwe Oh, Allah, and Kurman lay and a Nyabambanta local at the Kulnang BK and Bozonke as the Bona as the Kangele, Nasilapa Ekaya as Zimbabwe. There was a song in particular. Uh, the, the last uh, two, three months have been particularly difficult, uh, particularly difficult for the ordinary Zimbabwean, whether Zimbabwean or the sevens, the Emma factor, Lababandu, Chanabaloke, Beko, Naim sevens in Moba, Im sevens Gaiko. Eh, was in Dubez Turang Wonkumunt or Sebezayo as Titin Moba in any lay to a Sessi Tang Sema Conan Lapa Lapa, Ben Tangs, Sinqua, Benutin, Sama Sambo, Benutin, Zumbu, Simpi Loyacon. It's Catessing is a Tang, sir, is into as Vela Romania Mars. Tina, bring us a peg, sing us a kailut, and I will win or praise him. Bab. Eh, there was a jalu guta asema kaya. Eh, abanengi, basema kaya abanengi. Eh, Um, they live on less than one dollar a day. Um, it's very, very tough uh, for all Zimbabweans, whether you are in the rural areas, whether you are in the mines, whether you are in the urban areas, urban areas, life has been tough. 
uh, as we have witnessed the collapse of e currency in Zimbabwe, as we have witnessed e scarlets in Yama prices of just about uh, everything. Uh, well, still, as we have experienced the action of a basic uh, liberties, a basic rights. Uh, in in true democracies, in true democracies, elections uh, are, are really um, times of celebration because an election is the highest expression of of our liberty, our freedom to choose those that should lead us from time to time. We should be at our fear fiercest uh, when we are at election time. But uh, in Zimbabwe, it's, it's the contrary. Uh, the basic right to come vote, the refusal. to allow uh, meetings to take place, the violence that gets inflicted on people, the misuse, abuse uh, of the law in terms of arrest of people willy-nilly uh, for doing nothing other than exercising their political freedom uh, to uh, campaign, to canvas, to organize for their chosen political organizations or parties. So at the end of the day, you, you see a nation in turmoil, you see a nation crying out uh, for salvation in, 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 in about every respect, uh, spiritual salvation, emotional salvation, social salvation, economic salvation, political salvation. Uh, I will say one shot at it. One shot to uh, regain our liberties. One shot to remove from power a political party, a government, a leadership uh, which believes that it is entitled not to lead, uh, but entitled to hold in perpetual bondage the people. Uh, that we, we owe them a living, uh, we owe them for participating in the liberation struggle, we have no right to vote them out of power, that uh, forever and ever uh, we should uh, be grateful for whatever role they played in the in liberation struggle, as if the liberation struggle was about them when in fact it was uh, about us, the people. Uh, about, above all, you, you see a leadership that has become so brazen in its corruptness, so unashamed uh, in looting. Um, uh, in full view of everyone. Be kapula be be sila left right and center be be Georgia literally will bleeding bleeding the economy dry. We 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 need to come together. We we need to unite. We need to focus and 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 just one supreme effort. Uh, for us, notwithstanding all the obstacles that are placed on our way, notwithstanding uh, all the rapids that happens around the voters' roll, uh, which has been kept a secret, uh, one of the reasons why we have so much litigation around uh, the nomination process of this year the reason why we are spending so much in the courts uh, the last 48 hours, I, I've been in court eight hours a day, um, it, it is partly because of the opaqueness of our uh, political system, the refusal to be 
transparent about the voters' role, uh, a delimitation, a delimitation exercise uh, that is probably one of the worst that has ever been done uh, anyway in in the world. Um, all of these things have uh, added up to the most disputed. Uh, nomination processes in the country. There are petitions everywhere, petitions in Lyo, petitions in Arari, uh, election petitions in Chinoy, all over the country wherever uh, the court of law empowered to hear election petitions. This is not what elections should be like. Uh, elections should be times of celebration, should be times where we say, look, here we are as a citizen, here we are as a people. Uh, every five years, we exercise our sovereign right to repose confidence in those that want to lead us. So that we celebrate elections, we, we, we do not fear elections, we do not uh, cower when uh, faced with elections. And, and these are the things we need to resolve once and for all. And uh, in, in, my, in my view, we, we need all of us in the various places we are in, to come together. Those of you that are in the diaspora, those of you that are leading the fundraising exercise to put your shoulder to the wheel and do all you can uh, in terms of fundraising, do all you can in terms of assisting uh, with information dissemination, do all that you can. Uh, in terms of assisting in policy formulation and articulating those policies, uh, do all you can in, in contributing in whatever way in terms of ideas, in terms of strategy, in, in terms of uh, thought processes. Uh, Um, in helping our candidates on the ground, wherever they are, from Bay Bridge to Victoria Falls, from Victoria Falls to Chimani, to Chipinge, um, to Masringo, ev every everywhere, we need to come out. We we know that uh, it it has been. Uh, it's, I, I know from first hand experience that even the candidates in, uh, are, are struggling to sustain their campaigns in terms of uh, basically campaign material that is pamphlets, campaign material in the form of posters, campaign materials in the form of t shirts. The t shirts, they don't even ask for much, they simply ask for uh, sufficient t shirts to keep their campaign teams, the, the young people, uh, the young <coughs> girls, the young boys, the young men, the young women, the, the old men, the old women who, who are volunteering their time uh, to be on the beat, to uh, do the door-to-door -door campaigns. Uh, the least we can do is to provide them with the regalia to be visible, the regalia to be identifiable when when they come to us, when uh, they knock on doors, when they seek to persuade people uh, that they should go to vote uh, on the 23rd uh, of, of August. So, the, so they need that regalia. Mm, not to... Um, basically distributed to everybody, but to be visible as, as teams. The need, of course, the resources to sustain their campaign teams, uh, to just buy uh, basic uh, refreshments, uh, drinks, to be able to uh, eat something during the course of the 
uh, their canvas. And, 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 and this, uh, our, our compatriots are, are doing a, a lot to assist uh, us to achieve change and once and for all uh, in the country. And of course, the, particularly those that are in the rural areas, the words that they have to cover uh, are large, the constituencies that they have cover are huge in terms of geography, in terms of distances. Um, they have a need for a mobility, not in the sense of acquiring vehicles for them, those that they get uh, locally, uh, but in terms of uh, having access to, to fuel uh, for, for their vehicles to move from point A to point B. And, and we need to, to do that. And in just the next five weeks, if, if we can do enough to, to get the change that we, we deserve, then the next five years will be uh, years of um, transformation, years where we can regain our dignity as a people, uh, years where we, we, we can uh, uh, regain... Uh, uh, our sovereignty as a nation, where we can once again be proud to be Zimbabweans, uh, proud to be ourselves, uh, um, as a father, a mother, to be able to say, I am able uh, to provide for my children, I am able to uh, provide medical um, um, sustenance for. Uh, my family that uh, I, I am able to do the basic things that are done uh, by by parents uh, in any way in the world. Uh, so all of these things, all of these things are important for us in this election and. Um, it is indeed a watershed election. Um, if we don't succeed, If we don't do everything in our power, if we don't uh, assist the candidates, if we don't empower them, if we don't contribute to uh, the mm, recruitment, the training, the deployment uh, of, of polling agents to the polling station, if we have just uh, four or five polling stations without polling agents, it means it becomes impossible to do effective parallel tabulation. So it is all of these things that we, we all need to, to put our shoulders on the wheel uh, to push and work and work and work harder. So um, for those of us uh, on the ground in the country, uh, we need to ensure that we have done everything we can to persuade the voters wherever we are to assist the candidates uh, from every corner of, 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 of the country. Um, if we fail, this is really, let, let, let me use this analogy. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's like a hunter sent to hunt uh, in the jungle. You have one gun, you have one bullet. Uh, you have only one shot, one chance at it. If you miss, that's it. That's it. You, you, you are gone. And, and we can't afford to miss. We can't afford to see our country uh, spiral out of uh, control again. We, we can't afford to to get poorer, uh, we can't afford to, to, to fall any deeper. 
than we have fallen. So, so we need to be able to free ourselves. Uh, and, 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 and this should not be difficult. We do it by voting. We do it by persuading others to vote. We, we do it uh, by coming together. We do it uh, by being united. Uh, we do it by being compassionate. We, we, we do it uh, basically by embracing each other. And uh, once we embrace each other, once we focus on the need for change, once we move away from selfishness, uh, as a people, as a collective, it can be done. And it can be done easily. Uh, but if we are disunited, uh, if we are quarreling among ourselves, uh, we are not going uh, to to succeed uh, in in this particular uh, struggle that we are facing. Um, I think um, I can say for now, by by way of generalization, I have said uh, all that I can say. Uh, um, uh, BK, uh, Suzuki, Kasana, uh, I, I have said what I can say for now. I've had a, a very long uh, two days, in fact, more than two days preparing for, for all these election petitions and uh, spending nearly eight hours in, in court, preparing for court for longer periods than that. So I, I apologize that um, uh, I can only stay as, as long as I can and uh, would not be able to uh, perhaps stay as long as I've done in the past uh, in the conversation. Uh, you will therefore excuse me that uh, maybe I will not uh, be with you for, for that long during the conversation given that uh, I, I need to, to catch up with the rest of my, of my written work for the other cases that uh, I have uh, to do. Uh, I also have to go to a rally somewhere in, in Siva tomorrow. The uh, morning, I think, it starts at 10. So thank you very much uh, for having me uh, in... Uh, today's uh, fundraiser. Uh, keep up the good work. Thank you very much.